Hello, my name is Mrs Fudge and myself and Mrs Archer deliver WJC Health and Social Care Principles and Contacts at Glamwin High School. The course we offer is the Level 3 Certificate. This course is suitable for anyone over 16 and interested in learning more about health and social care. It provides a suitable progression route if you've already studied health and social care at level two, or if you're just interested in health and social care and capable of level three study. This qualification enables you to de develop and demonstrate knowledge, skills, and understanding within the context of health and social care services. So what will you learn about if you do this course? Well, certificate is comprised of three mandatory units. Unit one is based on principles of care and safe practice. This is a non-examination assessment or NEA. And you will produce a report and an information pack. In order to complete the task, you need to gain knowledge and understanding of professional responsibilities and roles. You need to learn about legislation, policies and codes of conduct. You need to gain knowledge of ethical issues and approaches when providing care. And you need to understand the importance of positive relationships, trust and effective communication to promote quality care. Unit two, factors affecting individual's growth and development across the lifespan and how this impacts on outcomes, care and support needs is assessed through an examination. Unit three, promoting the rights of individuals across the lifespan is another non-examination assessment where you gain knowledge and understanding of the rights of individuals and the barriers to participation they may face, how these are promoted and challenged to improve health and wellbeing. Learners will produce a video or a presentation or a podcast for this unit. So how will you be assessed? This table will show you how um, you will be marked, whether it's by your teacher or whether the marking is done externally. It shows you how much time to spend on these particular assessments and what they're worth in terms of percentage of your certificate. The, the non-examination assessments are worth 50% and the written examination is worth the other 50%. So what can the qualification lead to? Well, the main thing is further study of health and social care through higher education courses or apprenticeships. Job roles can be including nursing, midwifery, physiotherapy, caring, social work, counselling, occupational therapists, youth workers, and many, many more. Many of these roles do require that further study and training at university level or as an apprenticeship. If you're interested in knowing the UCAS tariff points because you'd like to go on to university after studying A-levels and vocational, then you can see here the grades that you can be awarded for this course and the points that that translates to. An A star on this course is 56 points, which is the same as an A-level. If you'd like more information about the course, there is a link here. One of our past pupils wrote this for me. My experience with health and social care has been nothing but positive. I never did health and social care at GCSE, so when I started it in sixth form, I was worried I wouldn't pick it up as well as the others in the class. This course is challenging and takes lots of work, but the topics are interesting. This course is a lot of work, but if you manage your time correctly, you'll be fine meeting deadlines within the course. I am extremely happy with my results and on track to being able to study at higher education level. This course has prepared me to continue towards my chosen field of study, adult nursing. If you are interested in nursing, midwifery, social care, or any health and social care job, then I def definitely recommend this course to you. So thank you very much for listening. And if you'd like any more information about health and social care principles and context, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you for your time.